we keep getting the question, you know, why why are we coming back? And my sort of simple answer is why not? You win three national championships and 26 game winning streak and you beat, you know, a half dozen FBS schools and you're becoming a bigger and bigger part of the college football fabric. Why not come back? And you couple that with a great backdrop with passionate fans and electric atmosphere. You sort of have everything. So we're coming here to pay sort of homage and honor you know what the Bison have done here over the last number of years, and I think us coming here last year and the guys talking about it and the and the the atmosphere for our show really opened up the college football world to what North Dakota State has done and uh, the quality and level of football that's being played at the FCS level, and that's important. You know, part of our I guess part of our job is to raise awareness and to celebrate all of the college football world. We got the most reaction, the most positive reaction from being here last year as we did going anywhere else. Uh, it was the most talked about show internally and externally last year. It was a show we did in Fargo, like bar none. People loved it. They were blown away by it. Uh, I think internally we opened up our people to North Dakota State. Uh, you know, when, they, when the Bison beat Iowa State in week one, I remember sending sort of a mass email out to Sports Center. Hey, let's make sure we get this highlight in the show. Their response a year or two ago, but who, what, why? And their response when I sent that note out that first Saturday night, already in, all set. You know, so we sort of, we raised awareness there. And uh, internally it was, you know, it was a, it was a huge hit. And, uh, you know, last year I remember when, as we were deciding to come here, it took a little convincing to our bosses. They kept saying, explain to me again why this is important, why should we go there, you know, make me care. Uh, and I said, you know, listen, here's the reasons, blah, 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 two-time defending national champion. It's going to be a great scene. You, you still got to explain yourself, then you do it, and people are like, oh, my gosh. Just like last year, we sat here in this room, and people were like, Fargo Dome, right? Backdrop of the show is going to be great. Parking lot, trailers, tailgating, best tailgating scene in the world. Downtown, why here? I don't get it. doesn't make sense. And Saturday morning, everyone's like, oh, my God. There's no formula, and I don't sit down and say, all right, five minutes here, eight minutes here, ten minutes there. It's just sort of what feels right. Uh, I think for the Bison fan and the FCS fan that's looking for content on, uh, you know, on that level or that team, you're going to get plenty. But it's just going to be sprinkled in throughout the show in a way that sort of feels right, in a way that doesn't turn off uh, you know, the nuts in SEC country and, and in the FBS world. So I think, I think we've got a really good mix. There's no shortage of North Dakota State or FCS content. At the same time, we're not cheating, we're not cheating the, uh, the games that sort of dominate the national landscape. You know, I'm hoping it's more people than last year, uh, which would obviously make a great scene. And again, again, I don't rely on a crowd for a great show. I tell people at ESPN most of our shows are done in the studio with no people, and you can do really good shows with a limited crowd. But... You know, nothing leads me to believe that the crowd here won't be off the hook and there will be people all over the place. I'd be shocked if it were any less a scene than last year. After the experience we had last year, we were kind of hoping to, who knows, one day get another opportunity to come back. We had, we had a great time. Uh, the show was outstanding. The atmosphere for the show was amazing. Uh, the location, everything was great. So we were, we were really hoping to have another opportunity. We didn't realize it was happening this quickly. Well, I guess you know what to expect. You... you um, you have more of an awareness of the town. You have more awareness of the program and, and their accomplishments. And, um, you know, watching them before we came here, you weren't quite as familiar with them. And then even last year after we came, watching them advance into the, into the postseason and, and do well, it was really cool to kind of watch them uh, move uh, into that postseason and win it. And then coming back this year, you know, they beat Iowa State, and they were down and looked like, uh-oh, you know, it's not going to work out. And they came, the way they came back to win that game. Um, so they, they've, I love watching them. I, I think they're, they're a great program. It's amazing how they lose great players, they lose coaches. And, uh, you know, I think the substance and the kind of the foundation of this program just kind of carries on. They lose all the seniors. They lose three years of championships, all that experience out the door. Coach Bull's gone. You have a new head coach. You have a new quarterback. You have a not, lot of new leaders. And then early in the year, you're in a big game and a big opportunity against Iowa State, and the whole country's watching to see how they're going to do. And it couldn't have gone any worse in the first half. And what I saw is kind of what we've seen from these guys for the last three to four or five years is 
kind of keeping their composure, not panicking, uh, dealt with those, those uh, dealt with the adversity and rallied the troops and dominated the second half, which I think, I think I read in the last 11 games, they've given up 24 points combined in the second half. And they, they, I think they really rally around that kind of thing. So I think that allowed them to kind of carry that over into this year with it. That's what great programs do. You lose coaches, you lose players, but the younger players learn from the older players and it just kind of gets handed down from one class to the next to the next. And I think that's where they are right now. But that win, I think, because of the way they won it, could really help them this year getting to their goals of trying to win another championship. Right after last year's show, we left here and were so blown away by the experience that we were watching the Bison the rest of the year and, and said that if they win the championship again and get past Iowa State, you know, why not, why not come back here? Uh, it's not surprising to us that the show's back here. It might be surprising to other people. It might be surprising to some fan bases in other parts of the country. But it isn't surprising to us because, number one, flattery gets you a long way in this business. And we were very flattered by the reaction of the turnout last year. And also, it's a salute to the program that continues to amaze. Two championships in a row was, was great. Three in a row was even better. Uh, another beat down of a Big 12 team was impressive to us. And obviously, we're in the business of putting on a pregame show. And we think you know, last year's show was, was among the most entertaining three hours we did. It was among the most highly rated three hours we did. Uh, so why can't the sequel be as good or better? We hope so. Well, I think just the just turning around and, and seeing that the setting and the scene and and just how how pumped up people were. Like I said, that was very flattering for us. Um, we didn't know what to expect, and I think that um, everything about it was was great. The experience from the cooperation of the town to the turnout, um, the cooperation of the football program and the team was neat. We don't view this as a nice pat on the head for a cute story or a program down here that's, you know, busting their tails. And I mean, it's, it's a sincere salute to excellence at this level and excellence of a whole athletic program. I'm aware of the nine conference titles that the school has. I'm aware of the 3.13 GPA collectively of the athletes. There's a lot of things that are really done well here. And I think what we tried to bring home last year and, and the fans really spoke a lot more loudly than we could, uh, was that people wearing green and gold here are just as passionate and supportive of their team as any fan base anywhere at any division. And, and it's just as important to the players and the coaches as it is to anyone anywhere. So that's why I say it's a sincere salute and not sort of like a, a wacky off-the-radar off the screen visit for us. Yeah, I mean, I think the story of this year's team is clearly different with a new coaching staff, a new quarterback, a lot of new faces, and, and we'll focus on that as well. Um, but I will listen back to last year's show and make sure I don't repeat myself. The other thing is that, you know, everybody here may have seen the show and, and we know what we said, but to the viewer, I think it will be fresh and new. And you, you look at the dynamic of a show like Game Day, which is a pregame show that is not watched as much as we like to think so, every week by everybody. So there'll be plenty of people watching. I and mean, I'd say it's fair to say a majority of the audience watching uh, Saturday will not have seen last year's show. So I wouldn't call it dumbing down. I mean, we'll continue to reinforce and repeat while we're here. And then obviously the fans will do their thing and we'll have um, plenty of elements that are unique to this year's team. And, and just, uh, again, I, I think that the, the best selling point is the excellence of the team on the field. I mean, that's the backdrop is important to us. The town looking cool, the show feeling different than most shows feel, just because we have this, this great downtown setting is important. But the most important reason we're here is the excellence of the team and the fact that they won another championship and, and had done so in a dominant fashion and then went out and dominated a Big 12 team with 34 unanswered points, too. It, it gives plenty of credence to it. We don't, we don't think we have to explain or... Uh, rationalize us being here anymore. It's pretty evident while we're here.